Hey there, thanks for logging on. Just wanted to give you an update. Chief Meteorologist Tim Buckley with you, tracking Dorian every step of the way. You know, on Sunday, we saw a lot of things with Dorian. It became a Category 5 hurricane. It also became the second strongest in terms of wind speed with winds at about 185. That goes back all throughout our hurricane history since records have been started back in the 1800s. It was moving through the Bahamas today, actually on islands. Some catastrophic damage, unfortunately, in some of those places. And now it will continue to move very, very slowly, only making a little bit of progress in the next couple of days. This is Monday. That's Tuesday. This is Wednesday. Still off the coast by Wednesday morning, if you can believe it. Should start to weaken somewhat. All a relative term. It's still a major hurricane by Wednesday, Category 3. And notice how the cone here, the forecast cone, which means it could be out like this or it could be in like that, takes it closer to the Carolinas by Thursday. Thursday is the main day that we need to watch in the Carolinas, especially along the North and South Carolina beaches. They're likely to get a lot of storm surge. That's that flooding on the beach that happens ahead of a hurricane. That's very likely down there with a lot of wind and rain here in the Piedmont. I don't really think we're going to have as big of impacts unless things shift. But right now, almost all of the computer models that we use to help us forecast are bringing it right along the coastal beaches. So that's a big key to the forecast. As of right now, good chance for tropical storm force conditions or even hurricane conditions all along the coastline of the southeast US. But here in the Triad, we only have about a 10% shot of seeing those 40 mile per hour winds. So that's not a very good chance that we'll have severe conditions, at least not right now. We'll let you know if that changes, of course. Same thing for rainfall. Could be near 10 inches of rainfall along the beaches. We're expecting less than an inch, at least as of right now. If the track changes, the forecast will change. So keep it with us. We'll keep you up to speed on all of this throughout the week. But as of right now, a very powerful storm will brush the Florida coast. The Carolinas could be impacted as early as Wednesday, but more likely on Thursday. Hurricane conditions, that's what your friends and family at the coast should be preparing for. OK, that's at the coastline. But here in the Piedmont, we're not super likely to get those high winds or the flooding rains, at least as it stands right now. We'll let you know if that changes. Enjoy your Labor Day. Beautiful weather tomorrow and for Tuesday and for Wednesday. We're watching Dorian Thursday and saying goodbye by Friday into the upcoming weekend.